Another quick way to make changes in your document is by using Cut, Copy, and Paste. You can find these commands in the Edit menu or here in the toolbar. This is Cut, this is Copy, and this is Paste. Cut removes a section of text from the document and holds it in a special section of the computer's memory called the clipboard. Copy is similar, except that it makes a copy of a section of text without removing it and stores it on the clipboard. Paste takes the stored information from the clipboard and places it in a document. To use cut or copy, you first have to identify a section of text. You do this by clicking and dragging the mouse down through the section you want. When you let go of the mouse button, the section remains highlighted. Now, let's click on the Cut button here. The section is removed from the document, but a copy is created on the invisible clipboard. Click the mouse where you want to place the text and click on the Paste button. Copy works the same way, except it doesn't remove the original text. Quick tip. Once you place something on the clipboard, it stays there until you replace it with something else. It even stays there if you exit the program and start another one, because the clipboard is part of the Windows operating system. As long as Windows is running, the last thing that you cut or copied is still available to be pasted somewhere. To review using cut, copy, and paste, first click and drag the mouse to highlight the text you want. Click on the cut button or the copy button. Place the cursor, then click on the paste button.